Welcome to the fifth tutorial on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at inheritance and overriding. And those are two important concepts to understand in beginning CSS. Now in order to discuss CSS inheritance, we have to talk about the HTML hierarchy that we talked about in the beginning tutorial set on HTML. Now you will remember if you watch that series that HTML is based off a hierarchy. That is, HTML is the root element, and then we have elements that are nested with inside HTML. So there's the body element, and there's the head element. And then there's elements that are nested within the body element and the head element. So it acts as a hierarchy. And what do you get with a hierarchy? You get inheritance. Now, we don't care about the head element because we don't style anything in there. Remember, we put our CSS in there, but everything that we are styling goes against elements that are within the body element. So that's all we care about. Now, we will use the code we used from the last video, and you will remember that we embedded four elements inside our body element. We had two paragraph elements and an H1 and an H2 element. And so those are nested within the body element. So that's the hierarchy. It goes from the HTML root element to the body element and to any elements that we put inside the body. Furthermore, we can nest elements inside the P and H1 and H2 elements, but we will get to that later on. Now, it's also useful to build something out like this for your website so you can get an idea of how your element tags are arranged. So this is always helpful to build something like this. So this represents the code we'll be looking at right now. Now, the way inheritance works is that if we go ahead and style against the body element, all of the child elements under the parent element, the parent element in this case is the body element, and the child elements are all of the elements below it. So the way this works is, let's say we want to universally change the color of the font for all of our elements embedded within the body element. And in order to do that, we would create a rule that affected the font color, and that would go against the body element. And then all of the child elements would inherit that. And I will show you guys that right now. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up the source from the HTML document we used from the last video. And here we have, of course, the HTML root element. Here is the head element that is nested with inside of it. And here is our body element. And of course, we have our H1 and H2 elements, as well as our paragraph elements right here. So those four elements you just saw. Now, if we go back up to our CSS here, we created a rule to change the color of the paragraph elements to red. So we're going to go ahead and uh, actually let's copy and paste this because now we're going to go ahead and create a rule against the body, what I just talked about. And we're going to go ahead and remove everything except for the color. And we're going to change the color of the text to green. And we're going to get rid of this rule right here. We'll come back to this in a minute. We're going to get rid of that. And we will change this to body. And now we've got a rule that goes against the body. So we're going to be at the top of the hierarchy here. We're hitting right here the, the body element tag. And now all the text in here now should be changed to green. So let's go ahead and save that. And we'll open it up. And there you can see all of our tags within that body element inherited that green font color. And the key here is we did not have to specify. Let's go back into the code. I'll show you this. And the key to understanding this is we did not have to specify any green color in any of these CSS rules. They simply inherited from the body rule because that is, again, at the top of the hierarchy. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, how do I individually change the color for each one of these now since everything will be green. But what if I wanted the paragraph elements to have that color red again? I still wanted to retain that, yet I wanted everything else to be green. Well, that's where overriding comes into play. So if we just copy and paste this here and change this to red, this rule now will override this rule. So inheritance only works is if you don't have an identical rule in the child elements. But if you override it, this will be red now. And I will show that to you. So let's go ahead and save this. And you can see here now that the paragraph elements are red. We overrided the rule that we had against the body. But the H1 and H2 elements remain green because we didn't have any specific rule there to override our CSS body rule. And so that's how that works. I will see you guys in the next video.